If you're like me, you definitely know Nintendo Switch 2 is launching next year. This is maybe gaming's worst kept secret, and we know this in a similar way to how we knew the Switch OLED was going to be launching, you know, back in 2021. I know, I know, we all thought it was going to be a Switch Pro, and there was all these reports, but the bottom line is, there was a new system that came out. It was a new revision for the Nintendo Switch, but... Either way that you slice it, hey, a new system did actually come out, even if the smoke didn't lead to the exact fire we had hoped. Now there's lots of speculation about this. Maybe it was the pandemic, tough time at manufacturing, whatever it is, the smoke wasn't exactly what we thought it was. But those problems are behind us. There's no pandemic at the moment. There's no manufacturing problems that we're aware of. PlayStation 5, Xbox, and Switch are all plentiful this holiday season. Uh, so are your mobile devices. It, it's really not that hard to get what you want to get these days. So as that is the case, I would think a lot of the smoke is probably from a blazing inferno that is Nintendo Switch 2 coming next year. You add that in with the fact that next year we actually enter the eighth year of Nintendo Switch. And I know you want to be like, Nintendo, 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 said seven to ten years for the Nintendo Switch. Like, yeah, look, the Switch is going to exist after Switch 2 launches. It's not like Nintendo's pressing delete on Switch. But what's interesting is it looks more and more increasingly likely that we're going to get multiple new consoles from Nintendo next year. And that's what we're talking about right now. Now, before I dive into the rest, you know what? What the heck are you doing not being subscribed to my channel? I mean, maybe you are subscribed, and if you are, thank you so much. But if you're not, you know you missed out on free Oreo cookies raining from the heavens? Look, guys, I, I don't know when they're going to show up. I just know that Hey, check your cookies, and there'll probably be some Oreos there if you hit the subscribe button. I don't know what to tell you. Also, uh, drop a like, and why not leave a comment below letting me know what you're most excited for for 2024. So before we dive into some of the Switch 2 stuff, and even Furukawa's comments, and all this stuff surrounding it, because we got a lot to get into, let's talk about the other system that's likely launching in 2024 and it's something we've talked about but it might not be this exact thing and i'm going to talk about why it might not be exactly this thing we talked about before and rather could be a variation of something else and why nintendo is going to do it we got to talk about the switch mini so look all of that came from patents and regardless of whether or not the system is smaller or not and again we're talking about the switch mini here for a moment because this wasn't a bunch of patents the patents are public and when patents are public it usually means that this was a canceled concept or project but the idea of things that nintendo has done in the past like a super nintendo entertainment system jr the wii mini a game boy micro and other models that came late in a console's lifespan of the old system was really about trying to generate sales. And all of these systems that we just mentioned by name came out after the launch of a new system. And this was because these systems were made to be super cheap and, well, available to buy cheaply. So cheap to make, cheap to buy. This was just to garner extra sales from a platform that, you know, Nintendo's moving on from. It's never been something that's been really successful if you want to look at raw sales data for Nintendo in the past, but the system didn't exist. These, these, these late, you know, alternate smaller systems or whatever you want to call them, they weren't there to garner extra millions and millions of system sales, but just to help extend the life a little bit longer for super cheap. And look, I don't know what Nintendo is going to do with this supposed system that is going to come out after Nintendo Switch 2 launches. It is not something that we have enough knowledge on, but would I be willing to bet that Nintendo is going to release a super cheap Nintendo Switch at some point? after the Nintendo Switch 2 comes out? Yeah, I'd be willing to bet it. History says they're going to do it. The Nintendo Switch is going to continue to live on for at least two to three more years. Look how long the 3DS lasted for. Look, when Nintendo has a successful system, they continue to sell it for years. The Wii persisted years into the Wii U. In fact, you could argue the Wii persisted longer than the Wii U did. The point is that, yeah, Nintendo is going to do something like this. I, I don't think this is a foreign concept. And if you think they're going to release this in lieu of Nintendo Switch 2, then you literally haven't paid attention to not only all of Nintendo's history, but just gaming console history. PlayStation 2 had several variations after PlayStation 3 came out. S same thing happens with Xbox. Same thing happens with everything. Like, it, this just is normal. I don't really know why anyone thought when the Switch Mini stuff was starting to be reported that, like, oh, man, this means there's no Switch 2. Do you not 
know your gaming history. And I guess it's okay if you don't. Maybe the Switch was your first ever system. But gaming history says that this is not a replacement or instead of system. This isn't even intended to be an improved model. It's, it's typically just, hey, we're trying to make the Nintendo Switch for as cheap as we possibly can to sell it for as cheap as we possibly can. So it might get a few extra sales it wouldn't have otherwise. Now, the other system, obviously, is Nintendo Switch 2. And there are so many rumors and reports surrounding it that it seems undeniable that it exists. And I know people are going to say, well, Furukawa destroyed all the Switch 2 rumors. But he actually only addressed two very specific rumors, and he left the rest alone, believe it or not. The reports on dev units being in partners' hands in the middle of July, Nintendo said nothing about that. The reports on the demos themselves, the actual demos at Gamescom, again, Nintendo never denied that happened. Nintendo did deny telling some devs in 2022 about the system, and they denied specifically, this is where Nintendo did get specific, that Switch 2 had any sort of prototype or physical system present at Gamescom. They didn't say Gamescom by name, but we all know that's what they meant, which actually wasn't what the reports from Gamescom actually said. They said demos running on target spec hardware, which just meant game demos running on a PC and that the PC puts the clocks and all of that around what the supposed Nintendo Switch 2 will be. This is actually how most game demos for consoles happen in the past at events like E3. You wouldn't call those PCs that are sitting under there a Wii U when they're showing off Breath of the Wild. It's not actually really running a Wii U. It's being run on a PC. So the key thing, though, is when Furukawa specifically said the hardware itself wasn't present and was something else that he said. Some rumors are being passed around as if they are public knowledge. And if you don't know what he was referencing there, some reported that Nintendo Switch 2 was physically present at Gamescom behind closed doors, and it was tr being treated as a fact by some outlets who were regurgitating the reports. He was clarifying that there's no truth to that. But think about other stuff he never addressed. He didn't address the T239 NVIDIA leaks from 2022. Didn't touch that. The dev kits. Hell, he didn't even touch on the rumors about there possibly being a digital-only system at launch. Yes, remember that rumor? Let me give you a little refresher here. Let's just say that there's a rumor out there that says there'll be two versions of Switch 2 at launch, just like the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. One of them is digital only. That information came from a rumor from Special Nick on an Xbox Era podcast earlier this year. Again, Furukawa addressed none of that. Now, Special Nick did note that this was merely something he heard was a plan at some point, and he didn't know if it actually moved forward and they're manufacturing and going to go forward with it. Still, it could mean there's technically three new systems launching next year. Switch 2, the Switch 2 All Digital, and then obviously this new model of Nintendo Switch made on the cheap. So the question would be, why would Nintendo possibly release two, if not three, systems next year and the reality is that nintendo is a company that knows what it's doing and i know like if you follow nintendo's transition to other systems in the past and sequel consoles it's easy to point out nintendo doesn't know what they're doing right they haven't really successfully transitioned and been able to repeat success over and over even the super nintendo which is widely regarded one of nintendo's best transitions it still sold like one third less units than the original nintendo entertainment system so while it was still successful in its own right and to me my second favorite nintendo home console of all time it's also one of those you know it technically didn't reach the levels of the prior system or even come close technically so nintendo has a history of failing to repeat successes the things we just talked about for said he wants to avoid that so do you think you avoid that by waiting until nobody wants to buy Switch anymore? Or do you think you do it while Switch still has a market? Obviously, you do it while Switch still has a market. Imagine they didn't want to release the iPhone 15 this year because people were still buying the iPhone 14. No, you don't not bring out your next product because the last one's still selling. You keep momentum by continuously refreshing and releasing new products. PlayStation learned this a long time ago. PlayStation 2 was still selling phenomenal when PlayStation 3 came out. 
but you sell it while you still have market momentum. You don't wait till nobody cares about your products anymore and then release a new system. We've seen Nintendo do this for decades, and while they have been around and they're still more successful than Xbox, that's not really been proven to create consistent success. They fixed all of this with Nintendo Switch where they climbed back up that mountain and got to the top. But now you got to stay there. And you don't stay there by releasing a next generation system way too late. And what's also going to help you stay there is even after this next generation system comes out, you don't stop selling the old system. You don't stop releasing games for it. You still bring out your remasters. You still bring your smaller games, your Kirby's and all that. You make them cross gen. Look at what Sony's done. PlayStation 5 is selling phenomenal and only recently has it gotten exclusives. I think Nintendo's going to go to the exclusive well pretty much day one. But I think Nintendo's actually going to do something we've never really seen them do. I think they're going to have a bunch of cross-generation games, not just at launch. I think for the entire first year, the first calendar year of Nintendo Switch 2, any games that looks like it could run on a Switch but is also going to have a Switch 2 version will have a Switch version. They won't just abandon 130 plus million, 140 plus million by the time Switch 2 comes out owners. They're not going to just toss them to the trash. Nintendo's going to take care of them while also satisfying the new owners of Switch 2. I think Nintendo has a clear plan, and I'm not going to go over that plan today. I think we'll wait until Nintendo actually announces the system, likely next year. I know we were hoping for the Game Awards, hype into it responsibly, but when Nintendo likely announces the system next year, we'll talk about it then, because I think Nintendo has got a nice little roadmap for themselves that's very clear and very obvious and could even include Smash Bros. Yeah, uh, we're not talking about that in this video, but uh, there's some strong evidence to suggest that Masahiro Sakurai is back again working on Smash Bros. We're going to leave it at that. I think Nintendo knows what they're doing. I think they're going to keep Switch relevant for a little bit longer. Meanwhile, they're going to continue to bring Switch 2 out next year. I don't know if it's this these rumored first half or early next year, if it's going to be, you know, winter release or a, a holiday release. Look, I don't know when Switch 2 is coming next year, and I don't know when this new revised Nintendo Switch is going to come out, but I firmly believe they're coming out next year, and I want to get your guys' thoughts on this. Do you think I'm just crazy? Do you think I'm out there do you think this doesn't make sense or are you like me and going damn this actually is moi, mucho gracias why did i just say that mucho grande i look i don't speak spanish why am i attempting to put spanish at the end of this video uh, i i can't even say i speak spanglish that's how bad i am all right guys thank you so much for being here and we'll catch you in the next video